Okay everyone, this is Kevin Bentley posting some stuff that I've been working on with Descent 3. Basically what I'm going to show right here is the fact that I've got multiple platforms all supporting uh, NetPlayer with some new cheat prevention uh, code in there that uses MD5 and a much, much better checksum system than what was in there before. The, the old code used a static hash that was kind of a homegrown hash. This is using MD5 and it's using a salt value so that it's not very easy to spoof it. So what you're looking at right now is a Mac OS X box. It's actually my MacBook Pro uh, sitting here running Descent 3, um, running in full screen mode. You can see looking at uh, a ship right in front of me. Here's an Ubuntu Linux machine running Descent 3 um, in windowed mode just to make it a little easier to debug. Uh, I don't know if you can see in this video, but yes it is a Linux box. And uh, if you have a really sharp video, you can see that it's Emacs in the background I'm debugging under. Then over here in this other direction is an old Mac PowerBook. So this is a PowerPC version of OS X. Um, it's actually a pretty old machine. It's, uh, I think, 1.5 gigahertz with 512 megs of RAM and a 64 meg video memory. Um, it actually runs really well. I'm getting like 50, 60 frames per second consistently on this machine with the current debug non-optimized build. So this is a PowerPC machine running OS X, playing with the uh, Linux x86 box and a Mac OS X x86 box. Then over here on this screen is my VistaBox running Visual Studio. I got a little bit of a debug environment right here. I'm going to fire up Descent 3 in windowed mode on this box. Windowed mode is a new feature that Jeff Slutter put together. It basically, uh, it's pretty nice for debugging because it means you can, if you hit a breakpoint, you don't lose the mouse and everything. So I'm going to pop into a multiplayer game. I've got a search for a specific address because I got a kind of a complicated network set up here at home. And now we have yet another player. It's kind of hard to navigate here at the same time that uh, I'm holding the mouse, but up there are our other friends. So now we've got four different platforms that are all running in the same net game. And again, this is with cheat code detection. Um, I've tried a couple different levels. I'm going to re rely on some other people to help me test this, but as far as I can tell, this is pretty solid. I found I got to the root of the problem with the checksum bugs from all this time, and it really comes down to different internal ways of processing 32-bit uh, floating points. Some architectures want to process it internally as doubles all the time, others don't. Uh, because the, a lot of math was being done before the code, before it was checksummed, it led to a lot of inconsistencies of one or two bits between platforms, and then of course the checksum didn't match. The new code is a lot more of a binary, uh, it doesn't do any math before it does the checksum, so it's a lot more reliable. Anyway, there's still a bit of work to do before we put out the patch, but I wanted to show that there is some progress. So. Thanks for your patience. Talk to you later.